Uh, it is leaking somewhere. Gauge doesn't even go back to zero. That's awesome. But here's a Schrader valve. And it's just uh One of these. <clears throat> this I got from Lowe's. And this I got from Granger. So these two parts together equal this. And um, I couldn't, uh, because this line is plastic, I couldn't, I couldn't fit the um, compression fitting in there. And I actually bought extra compression fittings <clears throat> just in case. Poor camera work today, sorry. And so this, you have to like swage it down into the plastic line here. And uh, I tried to heat it up with a lighter and stuff it in there and it didn't work. But I have one of these reverse threaded valve, oh, Jesus. one of these reverse threaded valve core tools. And uh, I basically tapped it into the plastic and it has this little cutter on it. See the cutting edge right there? And it, uh, along, it expands the line just enough so you can just get the ferrule uh, started. Is this a ferrule? Compression sleeve, whatever. So you can get the compression sleeve in there. And um, this is 3 16 airline. And it fit this. So that was probably about the best I could do considering that the air compressor itself is basically rotten. The mo motor itself, the casing, sorry, extra bad camera work today. See the casing, the bolt head's just rotted right off. And uh, the one that did hold on, I should probably get that away from the battery. The one that did hold on the case snapped instead. So the compressor shell was only being held on by this rubber bumper. If this wasn't here, the whole motor would have come off, or the casing for the motor. So I guess for now, we just uh, replaced it with this Schrader valve that's supposed to put on an air tank. So like if you need to carry compressed air with you in a tank somewhere, you can fill it at a station and just have compressed air. This is that fitting that goes in the tank. And then from here down is the uh, brass compression fitting that I got from Lowe's. So all in all, uh, it took me probably, you know, only 20 minutes to do. Alrighty then, that about wraps it up for this. I just, uh, tied this up in here so it wouldn't get caught up in the engine or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm sure it leaks air, but it's not terrible. It's still inflated, so that's good. So hopefully that gets the job done for a little while, because 500 bucks for a compressor is uh, a bit much. This was, uh, I think, total 
it was under 10 bucks. It was like eight and some change for both of those fittings and my time. So if you ever have a problem where your compressor goes kaput and you don't want to buy another one, this is a great solution on the cheap that could save you big time. Thanks for watching.